You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another anime review. Today we'll be doing another Gona Guy series, specifically another Gona Guy OVA. And as the title of this video implies, we'll be talking about Iron Virgin June. Similarly to Hanape Bazooka and Black Lion, Iron Virgin June is only a single episode OVA. And as with the other two mentioned series, the single episode OVA is 50 minutes long, so it's nearly an hour long, but it's only one episode. It's the story of this muscular girl named June, who is part of this illustrious aristocratic family called the Asuka family, and before before I get a billion comments on it, yes, I know it's pronounced Asuka, I know that, but I'm gonna say Asuka just because it feels more natural in a sentence. I did a whole video on that subject, but that's neither here nor there. So, it's June's 18th birthday, and her mother wants to marry her off to some man of, uh, of her mother's choosing. June doesn't like this, so she runs away from home. Apparently, it's a tradition in the Asuka family to marry off your daughter on their 18th birthday. So, June is running away from home while her mother sends people after her. June is accompanied by her servant, a man by the name of Kuruta, who June uh, affectionately calls Krata. I think Krata is probably the love interest of the series, but being only a singular episode, I can't 100% confirm that since I have not read the manga. The villains of this story are obviously June's mother and the ghost of her dead grandmother, who still has influence over June's mother. June's mother sends this group of guys after her called the Golden Cherry Boys, um, and she sends them after June to take her virginity. Um, and believe it or not, despite that premise, there's no actual nudity in this OVA. There's plenty of it in the manga, as is my understanding, but I haven't read the manga, but the anime is severely toned down com in comparison. Another prominent character is Jun's aunt, who lives on an island far off in the distance. And this it's this weird island that you can't make it to if you don't see it normally. If it looks if it looks distorted, that means you won't be able to make it to the island, but if you see it as a normal island, you'll make it there just fine. It's a weird mythology that I don't quite understand. Also, for some reason, June's aunt gives her a broken mirror for her birthday, which isn't really elaborated on. There's a lot of things that I feel like, because this was only a singular episode, just didn't get built up because it didn't have the full time to run out the manga storyline. This isn't as action-packed as some of the other Gonagai OVAs I've seen, um, and that is definitely a detriment to it. The fight scenes that are there are pretty cool and fun, and although I don't understand any of the mythology behind anything going on, it's still entertaining for the most part. Uh, but I will say, this one I found decent. I didn't think it was particularly particularly great. Um, I don't think that it really had enough time to get out the story, and frankly the story I didn't find as interesting as many other Gonagai stories. It didn't piss me off in the way that Hanape Bazooka did, because Hanape Bazooka made me frustrated and angry due to the inconsistent character motivations. This one was consistent and didn't piss me off, it just was kind of there. Like, it wasn't particularly exciting. I wouldn't exactly call it boring, but it's not particularly gripping either. I still enjoyed watching it, and I still enjoyed the Gonagai art style, obviously and the animation and everything that accompanied that. And the soundtrack was pretty good, too. Now, um, you may think, well, maybe I'm not being fair because it was only a singular episode, but again, I didn't hate it. Um, but here's the thing. Black Lion was also only a singular episode, and that one did a much better job with the plot and making it entertaining throughout. But as I said, luckily, this one did not piss me off in the same way that Hanape Bazooka did. And in all honesty, I might give Hanape Bazooka another go in the future, um, just to, you know, see if my opinion changes on it over time. Um, but Iron Virgin June was a decent enough story. It's not anything particularly great. Um, I would say go after this if you are a hardcore Gona Guy fan. It is one of the more obscure ones, and I definitely don't regret watching it. It was fun, um, and that's all there is to it. It wasn't, like, you know, amazing, but it was fine. I will definitely be watching it again, and I definitely think it was worth purchasing the DVD like I did. Overall, for an hour-long, singular episode OVA, not the worst thing in the world, but not the greatest. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about it. Iron Virgin June, this has been Fugitive Red Eye. Have a good one.